Hello everyone and welcome back to our community. It's a big day, honestly. I have a lot going on, which makes me panic for what the future could be, but we'll get there when we get there. I'm in a blazer and looking way more put together than usual because I have another interview today. So that's good news, same company. We're moving right along in the process. I've been excited for today to come. I just wanna have like my, I think it's my final interview, I'm pretty sure. The structure of a full-time job that lights me up would be great, so. We'll see what happens. But I have that in about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna stop talking to you and prepare in a second. We have a big day. Soon, other than Rumble later tonight, I have my friend Sabrina, who you've met on the vlogs, is a photographer and she's shooting a like hair brand shoot today. And they were asking for a videographer to help with TikToks, Reels, so she referred me and they hired me. So hopefully I'll be on site with Sabrina, which will be really fun today and tomorrow, just for like two hours each. Gonna bring my professional camera with my cool wide angle lens and get some like vertical content on the professional camera for reels and TikToks and I have to edit them as well. So I'm getting paid a pretty penny for it, which is exciting. We'll see what happens. Crossing my fingers for a good interview soon and I'm gonna go prepare for that. Exciting day and week ahead. Speaking of coffee, my best coffee shops in New York City video just dropped this morning. So it'll be up when you see this and it's a good one. It's like I go all around New York City to the top rated coffee shop, so go take a look. Even if you don't live here, it's just fun to watch. Okay, here is my setup. I have the plants behind me and a ring light set up because my lighting in here sucks so they can see me well. And I have this screen blank and I just put my zoom up and some notes on the right side that I never end up referencing because I'm so deep in conversation, but it makes me feel safe to know that if I somehow freeze, which honestly the podcast has made me really great at thinking on my feet, but if I somehow freeze, it makes me feel better to know there are notes there. So that's my setup for my interview. A little sneak peek into how I prepare for an interview is I have an entire sheet of questions that I would ask if I were them. And then, so if I was hiring someone for my, you know, to help with my YouTube channels, I'll sneak peek into what I'm applying for. What questions would I ask, given like looking at the job description and everything. And then I also write down notes about the job description, responsibilities. Um, just so that I, I don't know, it just helps me prepare. And then I go to glassdoor.com and I look up a recent interview questions to get a sense. I answer those. So I just have like answers to a bunch of questions that tell me about yourself. I bullet out like kind of my resume bullet points, honestly, so that I don't skip anything. Cause when they say, tell me about yourself, I just take them through my journey of like, here's where I graduated from, from college. Here's each of the jobs and why I moved to the next job. So I just bullet that out so I don't skip a step. Again, I don't always look at it, but I like to know it's there and it just helps me prepare in advance. So right now what I'll do is look up the girl that I'm interviewing with again, just like freshen up on her title, her responsibilities, her face, get familiar. And then I will basically rehearse my tell me about yourself answer and any other answers to questions I think they might ask. I've had five interviews already with different people on the team, so I have a good sense of what they're looking for, what questions they're gonna ask, so I kind of just like practice my answers, but it all really goes out the window once I'm in conversation. <laughs> Okay, I'm done rehearsing and just gonna keep like reading up, watching some YouTube videos for fun from their channels. And sorry, I'm being vague. I don't really wanna give anything away. Obviously keeping this all confidential for now. All right, interview went super well. Now I have all of my camera equipment to head to the shoot. It's raining and I didn't bring an umbrella. So I ordered a lift and it's here. Cameras in this big bag, so I'm using my phone. Sorry if it's bad quality, but let's go. on my phone still, that was so fun because I was there for, I wanna say an hour and a half and then Sabrina came <laughs> and it was so fun to just overlap for a little with one of my best friends. We're like trying to play cool and be professional, which we were, but 
It's just fun having a friendly face walk in. We like teamed up for some of the shots. It was fun. Off to Rumble. I hope I can still live this New York City hustle life a little bit. Get my little creative fix still. She's playing the corn song. It is Thursday. Yesterday was basically the same day as Tuesday, just reversed. I had the morning shift at Rumble, so it was there since 6.30 a.m. And then I went right to the video shoot, had another interview, and that was the day. And then I had therapy, and I was so drained. I slept till 7.30 today, which is an hour later than I usually sleep. It's not really sleeping in. I'm exhausted. Um, but I'm going to go to Sydney's F45 class. I haven't even had a minute to work out the last few days, and I'm super anxious and drained. So between getting a workout in for me and then also like seeing Sydney after and grabbing a coffee, second coffee, maybe I'll get a matcha and like venting to each other. I think it's much needed. And then I'm just gonna like cancel my podcast recordings today. I can't talk anymore. I'm so drained from all the interviews, to be honest. I'm talking about all the interviews. There's just so much going on. So I'm going to cancel my podcast recordings and say until further notice, I'm ending the season short. I'm not saying that I'm ending the season short to you guys. Like, I think I'm going to just start recording with friends and posting those. So there will still be weekly uploads until further notice, but I'm gonna stop the new interviews. I have a bunch in the bank already because I'm just super drained and super anxious with this big life decision coming up. Do I wanna go back to full time? Is my freedom being taken away from me? Am I being dramatic? Like all of this is going through my head right now. So I meditated this morning, I'm gonna work out and just like reset and upload a YouTube video today and I have to like edit all the footage that I got from the hair shoot the last two days. So I have some client work to get done. I'm exhausted, but I'm okay. <laughs> All right, let's go to F45. We made it to Coffee Project to talk about all our anxiety. So, Oh, okay. I have to tell you. I have to tell you the viewers this. I'm working a New York Fashion Week event on Saturday. You are. And I. You know me. What am I wearing, Jen? I'm, I'm your manic. Um. <laughs> Hello. It is a few days later, and I realized I didn't really record an, an outro, and I don't even know how long that vlog is. I like uploaded all the footage and realized there wasn't much. I don't know. It was a weird week, I think. I don't know, I guess time just got away from me. But honestly, last week's vlog was so eventful that you should go check that one out too. It was really fun just being able to work with Sabrina, one of my best friends, as you've seen on the vlog. Um, she's a photographer, she's amazing. If you need a photographer in New York City, go check out her Instagram, Steck Studios. And it was just fun working with her. So today I'm editing a ton of reels from that shoot. I was hired as a videographer and now I'm editing some reels. So I have a lot of that to do and I'm kind of just like in limbo. I don't know if I'm about to enter an era of full-time life or if I'm like going back to square zero, but in accepting and like feeling so at peace with my decision to probably go back to full-time in a creative capacity and just have more security and more structure and all of that, I feel like it's releasing a lot of pressure from my social media and like I'm having so much more fun with it. If you go to my TikTok, I'm just like having fun. And that's exciting. And one of you the other day, actually, I was getting coffee with a friend and one of you walked by and said, I love your YouTube and just kept walking. And I like, didn't even get a chance. I think I said, thank you. Well, I didn't get a chance to really like connect with you or hear your name or anything. But it was weird because I was talking about like this full time life and just like, I don't know, just the transition that I might be coming on and just like talking about YouTube and everything. And then you were kind of a sign that just popped by and said, love your YouTube. It was like, keep going. So 
Thank you for that. I also just want to say I never thought I would love a melon scented candle. More like a chai woodsy girl, but I'm obsessed. It's from Otherland. I can link it below. Thanks for spending the week with me. It was a little chaotic. I was running around. I got a little burnt out, I think, by the end of the week from all the work that I was doing in the beginning of the week, like around the clock. So those are all my updates. I will continue to keep you guys posted. Go head over to my TikTok because it's been super fun. And thank you guys for watching. It really means the world. I'm in a very weird place in life right now. Just like everything's so up in the air, but it's been fun. Just kind capturing it all on here, but I don't have any like, I'm trying cryotherapy or anything like that coming up. So if there's anything you want to request, whether it is cryotherapy or goat yoga or like any fun wellness experience you want me to try out, similar to how I've done the lymphatic drainage massage, salt therapy, all that, let me know and I will book it and I'll see you next week. Please subscribe and yeah, that's it. Love you. Bye. <laughs>